Good evening viewers, it's time for the second part of my Commodore 64 system review. Today I'll focus on the Commodore 1541 floppy disk drive and it's this little beauty. These are the disks you use with it. <coughs> and let's have a look on the back side. So we have uh, two serial ports a little space for the power supply. It has an internal power supply so it's just a 230 volt socket, uh, an on-off switch and a special cable that I'll talk later about. And I've <coughs> I'm using another Commodore 64 for this video since there is a special cable I talk later about, but uh, this is also the C64 my parents bought me back then. And I had some troubles to get it work, but it's it works fine now. And so let me put the camera on the tripod and start with the video. Okay, so what can you do with the floppy disk drive? Well, you can do the same things you can do with a uh, tape drive. But in theory, a little bit faster and a little bit more comfortable. I say in theory because, uh, well, uh, tape access is slow on the Commodore 64, but uh, with turbo tape it was pretty quick. If you've seen the first video, you might remember how quick the game Killer Watt loaded. And let's try it out. And uh, the commandos for disk access are much more complicated uh, and not as straightforward as the uh, as, uh, uh, cassette commands. It's the same command load with a file name. You have to do a file name or an asterisk for the uh, first file on the disk. And uh, the comma 8 is uh, the uh, address for the floppy drive. So if you uh, have two drives, the second drive will be number 9. So it didn't, it didn't take too long, but uh, if you compare it to the uh, loading time from cassette in the first video, you will see uh, it's not that much faster. And since I, uh, since uh, discs, floppy disks, were very expensive in the mid 80s, I continued using turbo tape and just uh, copied turbo tape to a disk and uh, loaded it from from a disk. Uh, and loaded the game from uh, the turbo tape game from the tape because it was more convenient to load turbo tape from the uh, from the disc. So, but what was awesome? Uh, another quirk. So uh, let's delete the memory. Let's say you've written a small program or a longer program. One, two, twenty. So the program works and you want to save it onto uh, a floppy disk. So if you are uh, lazy and you don't uh, write everything you will have uh, on the disk down, you might want to show a directory from the floppy disk. There's an easy command for that. You type load, the dollar is the directory, comma 8 for the floppy disk and you have got your directory, but fuck, where's the program? You load the directory just as you would load a program, so uh, don't load the directory if you haven't saved your program. There are ways around this, but uh, I'll do you later. It has something to do with a special cable I've got attached to a floppy drive. But what was amazing about the disk, uh, the floppy drive, was the to. Uh, play more complex games like this one well to speed things up let's come to the special cable I turn the machine off for that I have a 
little switch here on the back side, I put it up and turn the machine back on. And you'll see there's a different uh, startup me message. It now says speed those plus with some uh, colored blocks on the screen. And yeah, that's an uh, amazing upgrade for the machine. I've got it um, one or two years after I got the floppy drive and um, it's a speed loader, it's a parallel speed loader for the uh, Commodore 64. So that's this cable, it's a parallel cable, uh, in addition to the serial cable that's normal for Commodore disk drives. And uh, so this is basically a, a, a fast loader, you have the, oper uh, the function keys uh, have uh, your uh, basic commands that you type uh, very often, for, especially for disk use. So F1 is list, F2 is run, F5 would load uh, the first program on the disk, or if you press F7, you get the directory, and this doesn't overwrite your basic programs. And you can move your cursor onto uh, the program you want to load. You press F5. Uh, sorry, yes, F5, and it's already loaded. You press F3 for run, and it loads rest. And this speeds it up about five, six times, maybe so sometimes only four times uh, the standard loading uh, speed. And let's turn the volume down a little bit. And no, I can't see any way to skip the intro. And yeah, uh, there was a tape version of this, but uh, all the cracked versions were on this, so... Uh, and that was the great thing about the floppy drive, not the load times. Uh, if you, want, uh, if you wanted, many games in Europe were released on tape, so uh, you wouldn't need a floppy disk drive if you want to play uh, most of the games. But uh, especially for multi-load games, tape drives were very, uh, very annoying. Most of the times, uh, even if they loaded the first part of the game, they were, the chances were good. Uh, the second level wouldn't load and uh, the game would crash and you couldn't play it anyways. And that, that was very frustrating from tape and you rarely got this on, on floppy disks. And uh, most of the, since most of the people I knew back then uh, had a disk drive, I got most of my uh, pirated copies on, this, on disks. And uh, among pirates, uh, among pirates, uh, this was uh, very popular, so if you wanted uh, the latest pirated game, you had to buy a floppy disk drive, at least here in Germany. So, uh, that was Summer Games. And to finish this video, let's just load Killerbot. We have demonstrated how long it took. Let's just load it with Sweetos. And it's finished. So uh, that's my video for the 1541 disk drive. It's the second part of my Commodore 64 system review. Uh, there will be a, a third part because there were some uh, different variants of the Commodore 64. There were uh, uh, a lot of variants of compatible uh, disk drive for the Commodore 64 and uh, there were also some cartridges which were uh, an alternative in some ways for the speed dos. So uh, thanks for watching and have a good night.